Hi, I'm Cal McCoy from Glamp Protect, and today I'm at North Coast 500 Pods filming our glamping business setup clarity series, where we help you gain clarity on your glamping project right from the start. In this video, we will answer the question, what are the different types of glamping pod? Or probably more relevant for this video, what are the different types of glamping unit? There are four main types of glamping unit, we'll say here. There's the standard glamping pod, like what we're standing in just now at North Coast 500 Pods. The wooden, kind of upside down boat type structure. Uh, there is the shepherd's hut, which a lot of you will know with the, the wheels at the bottom. There are yurts, uh, which are the kind of canvas tent type things, but obviously a bit more permanent. And then there is fiberglass glamping pods as well. Glamping pods. What we're standing in right now, um, this is probably one of our favourite units, certainly my favourite type of unit. Um, they see the highest return on investment. They are the most popular generally throughout the UK. Um, and you know, people just love them. They're, they're generally what you'd think in your head when you say glamping. Um, now they do come with a massive price range right down from you know five or six thousand pounds a unit right up to 30 or 40 thousand pounds a unit. Uh, we generally see that once you get past about 25 thousand you don't see that much more in terms of benefits um, over and above what we've got here. So we've got you know lovely kitchen, underfloor heating, it's you know a very cold time outside just now and we're perfectly warm in here. Nice, uh, nice bathroom through there, uh, double sofa bed, uh, double bed, you know, we've got everything you need in here um, and generally we think that this is probably the best unit, certainly the one that we go for with our own glamping sites and generally the one that we recommend to other people when they're setting up glamping sites. The Shepherd's Hut. So a lot of people think that these are the most aesthetically pleasing of all the glamping units and yeah, I mean generally I, I can agree with it. Uh, one of the big things that we find with Shepherd's Huts though is they're maybe a little bit expensive. Uh, you know, you, you can see a shepherd's hut that doesn't have much more than what we do in this unit here for north of 40, even up to 50,000 pounds, which, you know, they're great, they look fantastic, but if this is a business that you're doing, you maybe don't see the return on investment. Um, you can certainly get ones that are cheaper, that they still look great, they're maybe a bit smaller, um, but fantastic units and they're probably the ones that we would recommend over the more expensive ones um, because ultimately as i said this is a business and you want to make sure that you're going to see the return on investment um, as i said they do look fantastic they're great you know nice inside raised up a bit um, but just beware when you're looking at shepherd's huts to get the right price point for your project the yurt certainly the cheaper end of the glamping units um, and down in the south of England, we see a lot of these everywhere, uh, but probably not for somewhere like where we are up in the north of Scotland just now. They are generally a bit more basic. You're probably not going to have, you know, toilets and showers in there. Um, you'll probably have a separate unit that's got the toilets and showers in it. Um, but they certainly do make an attractive holiday destination for somebody that's enjoying that sort of thing. Um, so we can certainly chat about them um, and they are something that can be good in the south of England but we probably wouldn't recommend them elsewhere. The fiberglass glamping pod. Generally these are the units that you see that look like hobbit houses. Um, so generally they'll have all the sort of same things that we've got in here, the, the toilet, shower, double bed, sofa bed, kitchen, all these sorts of things, uh, they just look aesthetically different. Now they do also come with a few benefits that you don't see with the glamping pods. Or, no, that, that's unfair on the standard glamping pods. Standard glamping pods have all of these things to a good level, but these fiberglass units just have a little bit more. Uh, heat retention is definitely one. So fiberglass has fantastic heat retention, meaning that you need to put in less heat to heat the unit um, because there's less going out the sides and the windows and all these sorts of things. Um, the other big benefit is that they can look pretty cool. You know, if you have a fiberglass glamping pod that is like a hobbit house, 
if that's the look that you're going for and the clientele that you're potentially going to have likes that sort of thing, then it's a fantastic solution. What are the different types of glamping unit? We have the glamping pod. For us, generally, it's probably the winner, what we're standing in here just now. We've got the shepherd's hut, which certainly can look good. Um, you might need to pay a little bit more money for it, but it's a cool solution. We have the yurt, which if you're in the south of England is probably a good idea, maybe not so, so much up here. And then we have the fiberglass glamping pod, which if you are into Lord of the Rings, then it's for you. Thanks for watching our video today. I hope it brings clarity to your glamping project. Want to know more about the topic? Use the details above me to get in touch now. Got any more questions about setting up your glamping business? Feel free to get in touch with us if you can't find them on our website or on our YouTube where we have an abundance of other videos to help you. Thank you.